Hi, Cheap Air Gunner, Cherokee Steve here, and I just wanted to show you uh, my basic setup of where I work, where I do modifications on my air guns. It's down in my basement. It's a complete mess. Uh, apologize for that, but uh, it's my basement, so uh, nobody besides me spends any considerable amount of time down here, but I also wanted to cover one of my uh, most recent purchases, which was a high pressure uh, air compressor. Most of you are familiar with the cheap Chinese kind and being a cheap air gunner. I uh, did some research. I did not get the Young Hang, um, as a lot of people do get. Uh, lots of good reviews on it, though. But uh, I went with the Vevor, uh, V E V O R, uh, kind of like the copy of the Young Hang, um, but uh, got a good deal on it. Uh, you know, made an offer of 185 and it was accepted. So, uh, free shipping. So it was basically 185 and uh, I could fill up my own uh, tanks. Uh, I have a hand pump, which works great for filling up uh, tubes. So here's the setup. Uh, got the compressor. Um, I don't have any extra filters other than the one it came with. Um, the only filling I've done up to this point was a carbon fiber uh, air tank, which was just topped off from, uh, gosh, it got down to about a thousand PSI. I was using it to uh, fill some of the air tubes on my guns themselves at least up to a certain pressure and then hand pump from that point so it, I filled it up to about 4200 PSI from a thousand so that's the only thing I've used this for I do have another tank this one here that is completely empty uh, changed o-rings on it it's had a leak um, hopefully I've got that under control. I'll find out. I do not want to run this without adding additional filters other than the one that came with it. Uh, although it's, you know, if you're familiar with them, they're fairly good in size. That's the one that came with it. I already have another one that I ordered and came in. I have another one that I ordered. And actually, again, cheap air gunner. Uh, the three are together would be cheaper than the one uh, long one. Um, Hudson sells one just like this. This is the Chinese version of it. But in their description of their product, they said that you can use desiccant inside of it. So that's what I plan on doing. Uh, very small pieces of the uh, cotton tampon type material to pack it and hold it. Um, this is just going to be uh, a cotton filter. Now the, one that's, the ones that it comes with are the little cigarette looking filter ones which only come down maybe a third of the way and then it has a foam disc at the other end with a lot of space in between. Uh, don't really understand uh, how any type of proper uh, filtration is supposed to happen with that so I uh, uh, got some of the uh, longer solid ones that will fit and take up most of the space for this one desiccant in this one um, and uh, the other one that I have on order I plan on doing the same thing with a combination of the uh, cotton material and the desiccant Hopefully that will take care of uh, water because after I got done filling that tank and I bled everything and I was bleeding it throughout the running process, it did have uh, water and uh, didn't look good. But 
your typical setup uh, been numerous hundreds of videos done on the young hang and this type the beaver um, five gallon bucket pump inside uh, return feed not up above the water so I can make sure that it's working and pumping water while it's running I have a small uh, fan here in addition to the fan that comes with it uh, I do play guitar so I took uh, one of the numerous guitar stands that I have I plan on attaching the filter system to this as well um, and then uh, using this area uh, for my tanks run to the filter up through the filter system down and uh, hopefully make a, a stand for the for the tank that will go here um, some of the other areas of this is you know I've got a one of the cheapest cronies you could buy but it works all it gives you is a single reading uh, for velocity um, I do keep a notebook whenever I shoot write down especially after modif making a modification to see you know if it helped increase velocity how much it helped uh, and I'll get more into that when I do more videos um, this is my stand with my pellets here you know, I have the two carbon fiber tanks fit up there I've got various wooden dowels uh, toolbox uh, what else is down there um, uh, various kits uh, o-ring kits washers uh, screws etc and then down at the other end I have a uh, target set up this is approximately 33 feet across my basement um, I do have quite a few duct tape together uh, very large catalogs to prevent you know it's not just the wooden crate obviously because I do shoot 357 pellets down here as well this is an example of the got about five of these duct taped together and put inside there uh, seems to work pretty good uh, got to keep an eye on it obviously as it gets shot more and more it's going to uh, fall apart more and more and need to be replaced which that's why I've got an extra catalog um, uh, like to hunt with my air guns and I'll be doing more videos on all of that right now this was mainly just a, a uh, talk up on my most recent recent purchase that uh, air compressor um, which like I said I've only used once worked well but uh, I will post up more videos uh, hopefully soon on the individual guns that I own, what I've done to them, and uh, what kind of increases in velocity I saw after doing them. Thanks a lot. Uh, hope. Just trying to keep it all um, as least as possible as far as money out of my pocket. Uh, I fell into the trap of spending tons of money um, and feeding an addiction that got out of hand so maybe you can relate to that um, whatever purchases I do make uh, I try to make f as few as possible and as inexpensive as possible so hopefully maybe you can relate to that so I uh, hope you have a great day and stay tuned for uh, my next video thanks bye